This gun has already been loaded with one solar bullet. I started doing school plays and I started like writing school plays and I was, it's something that, like I said, grew up with me and eventually when I graduated high school, it just carried over into that professional capacity. This is a game show, okay, let's be real, it's only the possibility of somebody dying. Listen, I don't buy it. And neither will the SABC. I can just hear the complaints rolling in by the Broadcasting Complaints Commission. At what point did you think that this was going to work? I've always been involved in drama from a very young age. Um, up to the end of high school um, and then I told my parents one day yeah so by the way I am studying acting just so if, as just if we didn't pick it up through you know all the decades so it's kind of always been on the board on the cards for me I was introduced to acting at an age of 12 you know through a project for others uh, that ran at the Baxter called City at Baxter then ever since then I've never looked back you know I grew up in that project then from there like they you know opened many doors for me. I went to a school called City Varsity School of Media and Creative Arts they're actually located in Cliff Street in Cape Town I enrolled there and I was I studied there for three years and I and I completed in 2008 with an advanced uh, acting diploma. The directing is something that I've picked up along the way from obviously watching like lecturers direct and working on set on, on movies and, and being involved in so many theatre productions myself. Well, it may be unusual and it may be bloody but ladies and gentlemen I think we can all agree it's bloody exciting! Yeah! Yeah, to make a living from acting in South Africa it's, it's hard. Um, there are a lot of people that do do it, but then there's also a lot of people that struggle for years and years. Um, I think it also depends on what kind of industry you go into within acting. Um, obviously if you get some kind of a regular job like on a TV show or a soap opera, that's a, that's a guaranteed salary. And I think that people that tend to become more of like a, a celebrity figure in the country can get an opportunity to do a lot more varied work. If you want the big house, if you want the car, um, it's very difficult to attain that in, in acting. And most people who we would consider have made it in the industry are not just doing their one series or their one movie, they're doing several different things, you know. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm the new intern. The best advice that I've been, that was ever given to me when I asked somebody uh, what advice do you have for young aspiring actors and he bluntly said get up from your ass and do the work and I 100% agree with that. And just fight if it's what you want, be ambitious, reach for anything that's out of reach because it's worth it. It's just about not being lazy, that's all. Just um, a lot of actors will sit at home and complain. We find six contestants who are willing to risk it all for say, a million bucks. And we bring them up one by one. Can I make a suggestion? Mm. But <laughs> what are you actually doing? You know, sometimes you have to take the free gig just to improve yourself and mm. keep yourself sharp because when that big moment does come, when you have that big audition for a film, you're ready and you're prepared. And it's about not waiting on your agent to get your work. Yeah. Got their hustle, you know, write your own show. <laughs> I'm still learning as I'm going along, to be honest. Um, this is my fifth production, and from where I've started to where I've, I am now, it's already, it's been in such an incredible journey. So you learn, with every project, you learn as well. So it's always a learning process, and that's what I quite like about it. 